In other news, the UK government plans to come down heavily on vaping, e-cigarettes and the so-called New Age gateway products. It has shared its proposal for public consultation to rein in on vaping by children. This comes after a 12-year-old, I repeat, a 12-year-old was placed in a medically induced coma after her lungs were severely weakened, all because of vaping. Many school-going children are taking up vaping under the false assumption that it carries no risks or dangers. Let me show you some statistics now. According to the UK's Action on Smoking and Health Organization in 2023, 20.5% of children had tried vaping. Now this is up from 15.8% in 2022 and 13.9% in 2020 before the first COVID lockdown. There is also an age gradient, both for first ever and current vaping. Among 11 to 15 year olds, 15% 15 have tried vaping compared to 34% in the age group of 16 and 17 and 38% of 18-year-olds. The figures for the current use are 4.6% among those aged 11 to 15, 15% for 16 to 17 years, and 18% for 18-year-olds. The question is, where do these children get their vapes from? When selling vapes to under 18 years, it is illegal in the United Kingdom. So businesses have been found to be targeting children with colorful packaging of free samples. The most frequent source of vapes are shops that amount to be 48%. Then some were shared or given. Then there were informal purchases. Some found multiple sources to get vapes and fewer than 1 in 10 gave the internet as a source. Astonishingly, about 2.1% of children who have tried vaping report that their first vape was given to them by an e-cigarette company. Now, why are children attracted to vapes? Well, most vapes come in colorful packaging and flavors that attract children. Here's a fact, the most popular flavors are fruit followed by sweet or soft drink. There is also a significant growth in awareness of e-cigarette promotion between 2022 and this year. More than half of all children, that is 53%, are aware of promotion in shops and nearly a third, that is 32% online. And only one in five that makes up 20% say that they have never seen e-cigarettes being promoted down from 31% last year. Teachers, medical experts and trading standards officials say that vapes are too easily available for children. Now children's doctors, pediatricians are calling for an outright ban on disposable vapes to reduce their popularity among young people. On calls from health experts, the UK government plans to ban disposable vapes under new laws to help protect young people from becoming addicts. The government is set to outline its plans for dealing with vapes so that they are no longer targeted at children. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.